Hey, Safe Moon family, Safe Moon Spartans, how are you guys doing today? This is Spartan Investor here with another video. It's been a little bit, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm here. Anyways, today we're going to look into the importance of market cap. Um, just exploring the concept of market cap, how important it is to the Safe Moon team, the Safe Moon army, the Safe Moon company um, as a whole, and what what is market cap? How significant it is? Um, do we need to be focusing on this? Do we need to be watching this? What drives it? What contributes to it? Like really, how significant the market cap is to our um, to Safe Moon to the Safe Moon army. Um, if you probably have this knowledge already, then by all means, if you want to skip through, skip through. But I think it's still a good refresher. So even if you do have um, good knowledge on this, I still think you should watch it and, and walk through it with me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your support so far. Remember to like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. All right, let's dig into this. So what is market cap, right? So I'm going on Investopedia. We're going to look at the definition of market capitalization. Um, and then as and then regard that to and then in regards to um, crypto. All right. I'm also going to do a little bit of calculations just to see where we stand, especially just for SafeMoon um, in terms of like, um, can we really hit one cent? Can we really hit 10 cents? Can we really hit a dollar right now in our state in terms of how many tokens or coins we have? Sorry, or how many tokens we have um, circulating right now? So let's look at this. So mar market capitalization refers to the total dollar market value of a company's outstanding shares of stock commonly referred to as market cap. It is calculated by multiplying the total number of a company's outstanding shares by the current market price of one share. As an example, a company with 10 million shares selling for $100 would have a market cap of $1 billion. Or $1 billion. So market cap is really important to a company. Um, especially for face value. If investors are coming into a company, usually they want to check out the market cap, see what each share is worth, right? Um, at the moment, market cap does drive price, right, uh, for our Safe Moon token. We're so market cap for any cryptocurrency is your total circulating supply multiplied by the price of each of those uh, shares or tokens, right? Because in cryptocurrency, each token represents a share. It's not like stocks, right? So it's same same concept, but different when it comes on to cryptocurrency. So each token or each coin represents a share that a shareholder holds, right? So one coin in Bitcoin right now is worth forty-seven thousand three hundred and ninety-four dollars, right? The total circulating sup supply of Bitcoin is eighteen million eight hundred and twenty five hundred and thirty-one Bitcoins. You multiply those two two um two categories. Right, so we multiply your your price per coin by the total number of coin or the total supply of coins, total circulating supply of coins, and you will get your market cap. Right, so we can clearly see based on that relationship that the price and circulating supply goes hand in hand when it comes on to determining the market cap of a company. Right, or the the market yeah, so the market cap of a, a company, a market cap of a token, a market cap of a crypto. Right, so again, you go. Um, price per token times your total circulating supply and that will give you your market cap another way you can look at this is your market cap divided by your total circulating supply will give you your price per token right so hand in hand <laughs> hand in hand and you will see um, you see how these relationships are pretty much linear right so we can just do up an equation and say that um, Circulating supply times um, times price per token will equal market cap. Market cap will be equal to your um, sorry will be equal to market cap. Price is equal to market cap divided by your circulating supply. Circulating supply is equal to <laughs> is equal to um, your market cap divided by the price per token. So all of those, so just a straight linear relationship, um, straight linear algebraic equation, and you can just solve for A, B, or C. A being anyone, you determine what A, B, or C is, and just solve for each. Just um, right. So it's 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 not not a tough concept, but I we I want to explore even more into into Safe Moon. So we're gonna look more so on Safe Moon today, 
right? Because obviously I'm deeply invested in Safe Moon, right? So market cap for Safe Moon right now is nine hundred and nineteen million four hundred and twenty thousand two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Not per token. That's the total. That is the total circulating supply times the price per token right now, which is the price per token right now is point um, five zeros one five seven six. So by all means, if you multiply um, sorry, if you multiply point five zeros one five eight one um, times your circulating supply, your your um, result should result in the market cap of Safe Moon is what you should have, right? So I honestly don't even need to do any calculations with this, but I I will uh, just to show us just so that we all have an idea of um just so that we have a clear understanding and a clear view of how how um important market cap versus price and even when we say safe money is going to a dollar safe money is going to zero point is going to go to one cent ten cents like what it means and why it's important that a lot of things happen before we even try to mention that i've made a few videos in the past and i've i've speculated safe moon hitting these these target numbers at stopping the burn stopping the burn is a bit different because our total circulating supply is way significantly lower especially with the ones i use in my calculations i use 10 trillion tokens right but even in that we still need a, a really significant uh, market cap in order for price to hit those points so if I can do I'm actually going to do a whole separate video with that and we'll explore um, the market cap at different price points right at stopping the burn we're going to use stopping the burn versus before stopping the burn so I'll do a separate video for it so in the meantime I won't put any calculations in this video but we'll still kind of explore what's going on when we talk about market cap and we look at the relationship here <clears throat> so we see our, our price point right now per token is 0 0.501582 or market cap is 926,000 <laughs> wow 926,230,675 for market cap and all our um, total circulating supply sure. right now is called is um 585.5 trillion tokens right so we have a long way to go in terms of getting our price point down uh, that's why having our low price right now is pretty pretty good for us because we can burn a lot more tokens in in order to reach our um our our uh, our goal of a dollar right and above that but a lot of things will need to happen before right. that. so sorry so what drives the market cap of any cryptocurrency right one of the biggest things that drives the, the market cap as well as the price um, is the number of invest is the the investments being invested into uh, that crypto right as well as being taken out of that crypto right so any withdrawals as well as um, any withdrawals and purchases affects the market cap and affects the cryptocurrency on a whole right so say for instance let's um, have uh, a die-hearted safe moon investor say okay i'm gonna pump uh of 25 million dollars into safe moon right so they come on board they, they drop their 25 million we're now at 950 million in market cap what will happen to safe moon what will happen to the price of safe moon what will happen to the circulating supply of safe moon right so we have to factor in now that we have the market cap because yes um, 99 uh, 25 million has been added to the market cap bag size so now we're at 950 million safe um, dollars for our market cap so in in order to find our um, our price per token at this point we would have to divide the market cap by the total circulating supply now to be accurate with this situation we definitely definitely have to consider um tokenomics right so if an investor invests 25 million we know that 25 uh sorry 10 percent of that or five percent of that gets reflected back to all holders including the burn wallet so we know that 585 trillion tokens 585.5 trillion tokens will be reduced right based on how much the burn wallet will consume um, based on its um, uh, personal percentage share which is about 42 percent right now which is crazy right so we know that the the total circulating supply will be reduced um, so before we even calculate the price per point of each token we'll have to reduce the total circulating supply by the the, the amount that the burn wallet would be reflected 
right? So that would be taken out of the total circulating supply. And then the new total circulating supply is what we'll be using to find the price point of or um, of of um, of each token. So right, let's say uh, thirty million gets reflected to the Safe Moon the Safe Moon Burn wallet at this point. I'm pretty sure it's it's not that, <laughs> but just a just a number out of the hat, right? So we say about thirty million gets reflected to the Safe Moon wallet. What we'll have to do in this in this at this point is divide our new market cap of nine hundred and fifty million token um, million dollars divided by the circulating supply, and we would have gotten a new um, we would have gotten a new uh, price point for our tokens. Or sorry, for our uh, for, yeah, for our tokens. Have you? Do you guys see this? This was at nine twenty five million like a couple seconds ago, and now it's at nine hundred like five million dollars just disappeared. Uh, anyways, but we know that the volume, like our volume, is has been around seven seven point five million dollars. So up and down, up and down. This, but that's crazy. Down eighty three percent, um, point eight three percent. That's crazy. I just saw that at 920 million, 925 million. But anyways, so just just remember that um, we're just again, we're just looking at what drives the market cap. And for the most part right now, because there's not much utility going on for SafeMoon, um, what drives our market cap right now is more, more so um, investors coming in and going out, right? So the more that gets invested into SafeMoon will drive the price point of SafeMoon up as well as the market cap up and the circulating supply down. Um, the more that gets taken out of SafeMoon will will drive the market cap down. It will drive the price point down, and it will um, it would still drive the circulating supply down because of the effects of tokenomics and the burn wallet um, eating up uh, tokens. While e either there is a, whether there is a buy or sell in SafeMoon, and then we have our swap and liquify function that also adds to the burning of tokens um, via the burn wallet. So that's uh, it's pretty significant. So again, market cap is very good. Sorry, <laughs> market cap is very significant for our company because it totally determines the price point of each token. So yeah, so the more we have investors coming into SafeMoon, the, the higher the market cap will be, as well as the more we have utility um, going for SafeMoon and um, different avenues of contribution or different avenues of um, price increase contribution gets added to SafeMoon, then obviously that's how we're going to grow in terms of market cap, in terms of price point for our for each token, in terms of our supply um, decreasing significantly via burn. Um, there's a lot of things going on. I hear a lot of talk about to V2 token coming out or version 2 coming out. I don't really know what that is. I'm speculating that it has a lot to do with um, maybe consolidation. Um, consolidation for me is more so like reducing safe moon by a variable or um, a certain uh, percentage right so again that's a whole nother video but man market cap is very important and we looked at all the other cryptos and their market caps right now and obviously it is in direct relationship with their um, circulating supply and as well as their um, yeah, so yeah, direct relationship with their circulating supply as well as the price point of each token. We look at Bitcoin, $894 billion market cap, $47,000 price per token, and low circulating supply in comparison to what we have, right? They're at 18 million, 18 point, call it 19 million um, Bitcoins in circulation right now. Ethereum, Three thousand three hundred and thirty nine dollars for per token three hundred and ninety four billion dollars for market cap um, man wow and then their their circulating supply is one hundred and seventeen um, calling one hundred and seventeen point five million um, to uh, tokens so quite a bit we look at Cardano as well two dollars thirty four per per token um, or per per coin and we look at um, What's it called? Their their market cap is seventy five billion dollars, uh, for their their um their circulating supply. They have a hundred and sixty, sorry, thirty two, uh, thirty two um billion tokens. 
wow <laughs> right so you can see based on just these three right here right bitcoin ethereum and cardano the higher this um the lower the circulating supply crazier their um their token price points right lower circulating supply crazier price point so uh, we want safe moons price point um token supply to go way 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 down that is the goal that is the dream right that's the only way one of the only ways we're going to get to the moon yeah we need to get our utilities up and about going and you know in fully integrated into the wallet so we have um a lot of volume coming in but we also need um and, and i guess those will, will contribute to the the reduction of our total circulating supply or our total supply of safe moon tokens right um again this is just a, a quick exploration of market cap and its importance to our uh, our safe moon army safe moon community the safe moon ecosystem so thank you guys again for tuning in um a lot of the information here is again my own um uh is from my own composition and my own understanding a lot of you guys might different opinions in on different things i welcome those comments below Again, keep it respectful. Nobody knows everything. <laughs> so bear that in mind when you're commenting and, and, and throw away that pride. Um, but for the most part, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'm going to do some calculations in the next video, um, kind of breaking down um, the, the relationship between market cap versus token price um, versus circulating supply. So we can really see how 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 we are affected by a large supply with a low market cap as well as um and how that pertains to price point all right again this is part an investor here with you guys with another video again guys remember to like comment share and subscribe that's one of the biggest ways you can support me um thank you guys so much for the support and for the love safe moon army safe moon family this is Spartan investor with another video for you saying no retreat, no surrender. Straight to the moon. Take care, guys. Bye.